Hey everybody, I'm Chris Provost and you're watching Provost Park Pass and I am making this video just because I wanted to make a pun. <laughs> Stay tuned, it'll make sense in a moment. So the other day I was listening to the radio and there's a band called Talking Heads and a song came on called Burning Down the House and when I was listening to it, I literally was trying to think of funny puns and all of a sudden it came on and it's like, Burning Down the Mouse. And I was like, I am gonna do a whole video about fire here at Disneyland. So I, that way I used to say that one pun over and over. Burning down the mouse. <laughs> Literally, that's the only reason I'm doing this video because I wanted to say that pun. All right guys, let's talk about fire here at Disneyland. Fire at Disney, now that's never a good thing and, and we always have to be careful about it. Did you know that Disney, they have their own fire department here? And they used to have volunteers and, and when the first park first opened up, it wasn't volunteer, it was like a contractor thing. But they have fire, they have fire trucks, so it's all backstage, you can't see them. And they're constantly monitoring for that because that's a big concern here. Here's a little bit of history though about fire at Disneyland. When Disney first opened, the first years of Disney opening, they did have a problem with, whoa, here comes the queen. So oh, looking good queen. Oh. Now, back in the day, do you know what people were able to do in, uh, here in the park? They were able to smoke. And, and uh, a lot of times, because the park was so clean, you know what people would do? They, when they get done smoking cigarettes, they didn't want to throw them on the street. So what they would do is they would just throw them into the garbage cans. And so Disney had several garbage fires would happen, you know, every once in a while because of the cigarettes. So that's not really a problem anymore that having here at Disney, but it was something kind of happened. Now. Let's get on with this video and talk about some of the coolest places that you can see fire here in Disney. Now keep in mind, it is controlled fire, but it's awesome. Some of it's artificial and some of it's real. Let's do this. Oh look, there's, there's Flynn and Rapunzel. She tells the very best, best jokes, Rapunzel. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go into New Orleans Square. There's a lot of fire. Uh, burning down the mouse, bum bum. Da, 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 da. Buckle up guys, you're gonna probably hear that a lot. That's the whole reason I'm doing this video because I just want to do that lyric of burning down the mouse. Wah, wah. Wait a minute. Do you like this video yet? Okay, let's continue on. Let's do this. If you would though, I would appreciate if you would like this video and also subscribe to our channel. Uh, and if you want to get new content comes out three times a week and we have all kinds of things, Disney secrets, Disney, all cool things like that so if you hit the little bell notification you'll get notified every time I get a new video if you want that notification on hit the bell all right let's do this now as we walk over we got to talk about fire is in itself so which villains like fire because fire is almost always associated with villains you got Hades he likes fire was that Chernabog is that his name the, the giant demon there's a lot of fire there Ursula surrounded by water not a lot of fire but still and then, of course, you've got Maleficent. She's got the green fire everywhere. The dragon <laughs> blowing down like that. Craziness. Now, we're going to be going into New Orleans Square. And you notice these lamps. Of course, these lamps here, they have light bulbs. But guess what, guys? There is some fire. We're going to walk right back here past the Blue Bayou. Okay, we're just walking right back here. Keep your eyes peeled. And right here, guys, look at these lanterns. That's real fire. It's burning right there at the entrance. This is to Club 33. But how cool is that? I mean, literally, this is just like it was back in the days in, in New Orleans Square. They had these fire lamps to, to illuminate. And they'd have a person who'd go out at the end of the day and they would like put the extinguish the fire in the lamps. I love that they still have those. Now, if you're thinking about coming down on a vacation down here at Disneyland, I'll tell you the best way to get the lowest prices on your tickets. There's a link down below. If you click on that link, it'll give you the best prices on the hotels around this area or a Disney hotel and also on tickets to help you save money. Or you can call 1-855-GETAWAY and tell them Provost Park Pass sent you and you're going to get the Provost Park Pass discount. We've tried to work with them to get you guys the best discounts you can get for using them. So, I mean, to help your dollar stretch a little further, if you're thinking about going, click the link down below or call 1-855-GETAWAY and tell them Provost Park Pass sent you and you'll get the very best prices on hotels, tickets, and they, they even do Walt Disney World, Disney Paris too. So, I mean, wherever you're going, they'll help take care of it. All right, now we're coming up to the Tropical Hideaway. This place is... Fire heaven. Look at all the different tiki torches. They're burning, burning bright, controlled with natural gas. Look at all of these. And they really pop at nighttime too. How fun. 
I mean, they, yeah, there's lots of tiki torches out here in Adventureland right here at the tropical hideaway. You can see lots of fire. Fire burning down the mouse. <laughs> I'll never get tired of that. Never. I was online and I was looking for, uh, I was looking for something to light a fire and said no matches found. There's even little tiki torches right outside here of the tiki room. And of course, there's more as we go along. I'll show this to you as we go right as you enter into Adventureland and see even more fire. Right here, you got more tiki torches right as you're entering in and around the tiki. And there's some fire right over here. Let's check it out. See it right up there? There it is. These tiki torches are burning all the time. And right as you enter into the tiki room, what do you see? Two flame torches there as well burning. Right there, Haley has a fire coming out of her head, but only when she's talking, right before the show. Legends say I'm balancing the earth. Wait for the but fire. Sad to say, I'm just hanging on. I'm the one who's really sad. When I smile, it comes out mad. There's a fire. Now there's a little teeny tiny torch right here and it's kind of encroaching into Frontierland territory, but I like it. Burning down the mouse. Eh, eh. Oh my gosh, you guys, that torch is lit. <laughs> okay, so this next part about fire, I had to wait till nighttime because it's really hard to see. So let's check it out now that it's dark. On Main Street, guys, you have these lanterns, these lamps up here, and they also have fire in them. You can see them at nighttime. They're lit up with fire. They light up and illuminate the street. And there's some more. At nighttime, guys, the fire looks so good. Look at those torches, guys. I hope they don't catch a fire and burn in down the mouse. <laughs> oh, you guys, check out the fire burning right here at the Tiki Hideaway. It's really cool. Fire looks so good, so bright at night. You can feel the heat when you get close to it. Now, if you want a real treat, come at nighttime to see Pele blow fire. Yep, there's the fire at night. Looks awesome. Now, we can't forget the most important fire at all at Disneyland, and that is Fantasmic. The dragon blows fire, it's amazing, and that's where you see the biggest fire spectacle in Disneyland is that Fantasmic. Ah. Hey, do you guys know what is bright as fire? You, you are. Oh, there's fire right there, see it right there? You are as amazing and bright as fire, and I want you to know how awesome you are. You make the world a better place, just for the fact that you're in it. And if you ever get like kind of feeling a little bit down or a little extinguished, don't, uh, don't let that uh, define who you are. Just know that you are amazing and because of you, the world is a better place. And I know that some of you are going through a hard time, maybe a little rough patch, um, but don't let that define who you are because you are amazing and don't ever quit. So I don't know if you guys know this, there's a new number, it's 988. It's a suicide prevention hotline. You can call it and you can text it anytime, anytime. And if you ever feel like you need to use that, please do. And know that we love you at Provost Park Pass. I want you guys to know how important you are. You're important to me and you're important to the world. So just be aware of that. You are amazing. You make the world a better place. <gasps> Look what I just found. Fire headbands, guys. Fire headbands. Um, did you hear about the fire that was at a circus? Yeah, it was intense. <laughs> what did the fire say his New Year's resolution was? I'm gonna go to new Fahrenheit. <laughs> All right, so we are now in Adventureland going to Indiana Jones. Now, Indiana Jones is an amazing attraction, but it's got faux fire. It's not real fire, but it's got lava, and I'm gonna count that as fire. It's in Indiana Jones, and it's such a fun attraction. It's like herky jerky, and it's like, oh, God, God. And it's like, it's like crazy, and they're like, no, but yeah, yes. And all of a sudden you're like, what? And you're like, no, no, I'm gonna hurt. And, like, you make it. and then you're like, what? And you're like, go faster. And then you're like, slow down. And you're like, I don't think we're gonna be able to make it over this lava pit. And then you do, and then you do, and it's amazing. Of course, the very best fire effect in all of Disneyland has gotta be Pirates Caribbean. The whole second half of the attraction is basically 
fire, fire, fire. Now, when they were making this attraction, they were worried, uh, firemen were worried at a time that they would be confused if there was a fire in there. So they had to put a safety feature in Pirates Caribbean. If there was ever a fire in that attraction, all the fire special effects immediately shut off. That way when firemen get down there, they're only fighting the real flames. Yeah, awesome. Check out the fire in Pirates Caribbean. Pirates. When you're riding the Pirates Caribbean, you can hear crackling, you'll see fire, there's flames, all kinds of burning embers. It is such an amazing feat and it's one of the coolest effects they have here designed a fire on Pirates Caribbean. The illusion of fire on Pirates Caribbean is very simple. It's just a piece of cloth with air blowing up with lights shimmering on it to give it that effect of a fire. It's been so effective that people have actually complained about real fire within the ride. So I was dating this girl once and whenever she would get a credit card statement, she just saw it straight in the fire. Her name was Bernadette. <laughs> Burn, burn the, okay. All right guys, well we're at the end of this video. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and I appreciate you. Have a fantastic night, evening, day, year. And I want you to know that you're lit and we're burning down the mouse. Oh.